Nuendo 7 enhances your workspace experience through new options for handling of windows, plugins, and direct routing. Nuendo 7 introduces a new Windows handling paradigm, including a new workspace organizer that makes for a more efficient workflow. Windows can be freely placed on any display and maximized, restored, minimized, tiled, and cycled through by using standard Windows OS commands. The Windows OS will now also group Nuendo windows in the taskbar, preview window content, and show many icons. The Always on Top mode now organizes smaller plug-in windows even when working with maximized windows such as the Mix console. The Workspaces functionality has been simplified and changed for better usability. Workspaces now have their own main menu, and you can switch between workspaces right from this menu. Or, open the Organize menu for more options. When you create a new workspace, you can decide if it's to be global or specific for the current project. Global workspaces are shown in the top section, and project-specific workspaces are listed below. You can add a new workspace with one click. Then simply name it and file it as you wish. Recalling a workspace always restores the way you created it. And to modify an existing workspace, you can now use the Update function. Another new feature is a new Preferences option to Open Projects in Last Used View. This lets you ignore workspaces that were stored with a project, which is helpful when working with projects from another facility, which often look messy if the author uses a different screen setup than you do. Another workspace enhancement is the Media Bay and VST instrument rack, which can now be displayed to the right side of the project window. Open the Window Layout tool and activate the Racks pane. There are tabs here for VST instruments and Media Bay. The Media Bay tab gives you direct access to the essential elements of Media Bay right from the project window. This allows you to navigate Media Bay without having to open up and close multiple windows. You can navigate the folder structure. You can enter and clear search terms. There are built-in controls for filtering. And you have direct access to the column heading selection and setup. On the VST Instruments tab, you can quickly add both track instruments and rack instruments. You can unfold the quick controls for each instrument and shift the remote control focus. If you right-click here, you can open the remote control editor directly. You have direct access to each instrument's editor, and you can even click through the presets with the arrow controls. If you click on the instrument's name, you can swap it for another plugin, or unload it from the rack if it's no longer needed. Another enhancement to make plugins easier to work with is the Plugin Manager on the Devices tab. These days, most of us use dozens, if not hundreds, of plugins in our systems. The Plugin Manager gives you the tools to help sort and group these into collections, so you spend less time searching and more time creating. The Plugin Manager has one tab for effects and one tab for VST instruments. And to the right, you can see the default collection. Let's say that we want to create a collection of our favorite effects for a specific client. Either drop down the User Collections icon or right-click in the Collections area and select New Collection. Let's start with an empty collection and name it My Favorites. Now, drag in the effects or instruments that you want to have included. By default, they'll be removed from the list as you drag them over to help you keep straight what's been included in the collection. But you can click this icon to toggle the view between all plugins and just those that you haven't included yet. To see this in action, let's open a channel settings editor. 
and Add an Insert Effect. And our usual long list of plugins has been trimmed down to just a few favorites. If you want to access another collection, like the default collection, which contains every plugin on your computer, simply open up the Select Collections menu and switch. And the Plugin Manager will also switch to the same selection automatically. You can remove a collection by switching to it and then selecting Delete Collection. And don't worry, you won't accidentally delete or remove any plugins by doing this. You're only deleting the list or collection. The default collection can't be edited, so you'll always be able to find what you're looking for there. And Nuendo automatically updates your list of plugins on every startup, so the plugin manager is always up to date. Get Nuendo 7 today at your preferred Pro Audio dealer or in the Steinberg online shop.